When you're going to start a tattoo shop, location is definitely an important factor. Uh, depending upon the kind of tattoo shop that you're opening, whether it's a custom shop or a conventional production style shop, the way you set up your shop is going to vary depending upon your, your target market. If uh, you're going to open up a custom shop, like what I have here, uh, the location in relationship to the rest of the city isn't necessarily crucial because it's more of a destination. People will seek it out as opposed to just passing by and noticing it. For this location, they basically provided us with a empty shell that I got to build from the ground up. I got to choose the unit. I got to choose basically everything about it. We're on the upper level here, so all the big picture windows have a spectacular view. So not only is the client entertained by the view, but also the artists are inspired by the mountain range and the trees and the river and all that. It's important for your artists to feel inspired. Um, in our shop, we've got the, all of our retail and jewelry and all that right up front here. So right as you walk in the door, there's a variety of jewelry and well-lit display cases, eye candy, something the customer can basically occupy their time with looking at while they're, if you don't get a chance to wait on right away, there's something for them to look at. So as the customer comes into the shop, we have a waiting area right on the front here. It's seldom that somebody comes into the shop alone, so while they're waiting for their friends or waiting for their turn, they've got a comfortable place to sit and look at your portfolios here. So when the customer comes in, they have nice high quality pictures of your work to look at, not only creating uh, credibility for you as an artist, but also to give them something to think about when they're considering getting tattooed by you. Also having a media available. Uh, I've got a PS3 in here so that they can while away the hours playing video games or get on the internet with it. Also we've got it set up to play movies or basically keep people occupied while they're waiting. As we come into the tattoo shop a little bit more we've got our drawing area here. We've got this nice smooth clean drawing area for the artist to work on and access to the internet to pull reference material. And as we Come over here, we've got a light table. This is a crucial part of a uh, tattoo artist's arsenal. The light table allows us to basically reference anything that we might pull off of the internet or a customer might bring in to basically create an ideal tattoo design for them. And as we come into the tattoo shop, we've got the pool table and other creature comforts. The little library where people can look at books and chairs and other seating for them. And then the artist stations are all set up along the wall here. So these are how our workstations are set up. They have three granite shelves. They're non-porous and easily disinfected. We also put a cellophane barrier down as we're working. Some people use dental bibs to create that non-porous barrier, but basically having everything in your station disinfectable is important. Also, uh, using a plastic baggies or barrier tape to bag all of your stuff in is also an important thing to be able to do. In our shop, we have more of an open atmosphere. If we need privacy, we put up privacy screens, but it is kind of a social, tribal experience, so making it so that the customers can talk to each other and the artists can talk to each other makes it a more enjoyable experience. So that's why we have our shop kind of open. So when you're putting together your tattoo shop, your sterilization, cleaning area should be sequestered from the rest of it. It doesn't have to be an elaborate setup, just as long as it's not out amongst the traffic. This is basically where we sterilize and clean our used tubes. We use as much disposable items as we possibly can, but the things that do need to be sterilized get processed here.